Chapter 1 It was an early evening in the middle of a hot summer night that the phone rang. Jane had joined the famous team of ghost hunters and was on her way to her first haunt with the team. Ever since she had moved into a home where things had happened that were devoid of any explanation she had been fascinated by the subject. To go back several years and remember the little boy she saw as clearly as her other children in that old crumbling apartment building was disheartening. It had been a young boy of around ten and he had been alone. Time after time she saw this little boy. He usually was at the same location, the doorway of her kitchen. He wore clothes from the 1940s or 1950s and never said anything just watched. So many times things had disappeared only to turn up in the strangest of places, one time she had found the butter in her closet. The little boy had not appeared to anyone in the house but her, until one day her husband saw him. After much research they had not been able to identify the lad and had been haunted by his presence since. But, as the years had gone by and technology had advanced and Jane had become very good at finding spirits. She was always open to the idea of a haunting, but at no time assumed that they existed. She had always believed in the scientific approach. Equipment was very expensive and she had mostly depended on her own feelings and observations. But, now the technology was much more advanced and Sue prepared for the hunt. It seemed strange to her that the most important thing on a good hunt was to have enough batteries. No matter how well her camera and recorder her flashlight and EMF was charged something always went dead. No one was sure why this was, but it was a common thing to happen on any ghost hunt. The ghost hunting team were a group of professionals who took the hunt as a serious undertaking. The equipment was checked and then check again and all on the team were insured. Before going on any hunt there was the prior meeting with the client. Jane had gone with Grant and Jason to the home and had met the owners. They were a young couple with two young children and told a story that was quite amazing. The couple who for the sake of the story we will call the Smiths, had purchased a small home in a quiet town on the eastern side of Massachusetts two years ago. The home had no history of any type of hauntings and had been in the same family for over 20 years prior to their purchase. The Smiths had contacted the previous owner who was surprised to hear of any type of strange happening. They said nothing strange had happened as far as they knew ever. The Smiths on the other hand had experienced some disturbing events. The events brought back the memories of the old apartment that Jane had lived in so many years ago. The two children were young and only the older boy could vocalize his experiences. He was not afraid of the entity, he considered the man that came to him in his room a friend. But Joe Smith had a different feeling about this so-called friend. He had gone into the boy's bedroom when he was alone in the house. He felt as though he was being watched as he entered. As he had turned around for a flash of a second a moment really he had a brief glimpse of a being in the corner. He did not appear to be human, he reminded him of an elf. The moment was so brief he thought for a moment that his imagination was getting the best of him. Stop imagining things he had said to himself. Jill had been in the living room when she had heard a racket in the kitchen. It sounded like someone was rummaging through her pantry and dishes. She had gone out to see what was going on and had found nothing disturbed. She had checked everything and shook her head. All these things had the couple on edge, and they were starting to feel uncomfortable in their home until an incident just a few days ago. Jill had been in the kitchen with her youngest son sitting in his high chair. Her oldest boy Kyle had been in his room playing. She called to him to let him know it was time to wash his hands for dinner and there was no answer. Joe had been on his way home from work when he had gotten the frightening call from his wife. Jill had always been a woman with a level head and when he heard the panic in her voice he stepped on the gas to get himself to the house as fast as he could. Kyle had been playing with his mass box cars on the floor when his friend had told him to stop playing such a silly game. He had wanted to keep playing and tried to ignore his new found friend. But, his friend picked up all his cars without touching them and threw them around the room. He had started to cry and the man that he had thought of as his friend had laughed. Jill had just come down the hallway and looked around the corner when she had seen all of her son's cars jump up in the air with such force that it scared her. They were then strewn all over the floor to her and her son's horror. She ran to Kyle and hugged him. For a second she thought she heard the sound of a man's laughter. She had run from the room and called her husband. 
Joe and Jill had never thought that they would need to speak to a paranormal investigator and had been at a loss on what to do. Their first act was to contact a priest, but they were not willing to help them as they were not practicing Catholics. Jill had been watching television that night when she had seen the advertisement for the show Ghost Hunters. They were not that far away from their home and she had given them a call. The Smiths had been pleased to hear that a member of their team could come out in a couple of days and meet with them. Of course, like a car, everything had been normal when the first team had come out to meet with them. There was no indication that there was anything there other than a normal house. But, the visit must have disturbed their resident spirit because the next day Jill saw him. This time there was no maybe or no small glimpse. This time an evil creature had been standing behind her in the cellar as she had done the laundry. Joe was glad to see the ghost hunting team pull up to the house. He hoped that there would be some answers. As he welcomed them into the house he asked the good lord to help them.